Hicksfield AI tutorial and review. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be going through Hicksfield and all the different tools that are available within this AI tool. Now, Hicksfield is something that sets itself apart from all of the other video generating AI tools out there. It's something that is very creative and different. This allows you to add visual effects. You can use Hicksfield Soul to build hyper-realistic content. You have things like camera control, viral videos, action movements, UG and commercial content that you can build all within Hexfield. And this is what makes Hexfield truly unique. It's not something that is just generating AI video content. It's creating something new and refreshing, and it's truly something that can be helpful when it comes to editing video and creating unique content. To get started with Hexfield, simply head on over into Hexfield AI and then click on sign up on your top right. Once you click on sign up on your top right, you can proceed with continuing with Google, Apple, or Microsoft or you can sign up with your email address and then you're just going to proceed with whatever method you prefer for signing up. Once you do that, you will have access to Hicksfield AI. Now, we will be discussing pricing at the end of this video as well, so I can show you guys the different plans that are available and the different features. Now, when you get started, you can get started simply by clicking on create on the top and then you can choose if you want to build images, videos, use Hicksfield Speak or UGC content. After that, you have a separate section for Canvas where you can add product, in paint, and add multiple references. And you can even create your own character using Hicksfield. You have the ability to upscale any images or videos to enhance their resolution and quality. And then you have this newly introduced feature called Hicksfield Assist as well. Now, usually what a lot of people think about when they think about Hicksfield is this particular video, and this uses their eyes in model. And this is something that is really interesting to look at, especially because we see it as so profound and it looks really interesting as well. So to get started, we're going to click on create, and then we are going to click on video. Once you click on video over here on the left, you will see video. Then you also have Hicksfield speak if you want to make your avatar speak, and then you have your UGC content builder, but we're going to opt for a video first. Now from here, you will see the model that is selected. So you can click on mix over here, which is something that you are going to find and not in a lot of other Hicksfield models. So you can actually mix multiple different models. So if I click on change over here and you guys can see there are several different models. We have this robo arm, we have turning metal, 3D rotation, arc right, static, face punch. Let's say I want to add face punch over here. So I'm just going to select face punch and then I can click on mix, then I can proceed with adding multiple effects. You have things like trending effects and then you have camera control, epic camera control, catch the pulse, and then mix. So you can explore all these different effects from here. You even have VO3 access and Minimax access that you can allow to integrate within your videos to have a slightly less edgier video. Then after that, you can upload your image or generate it. And then you're going to describe the scene that you want to imagine. So we're going to go on ahead and click on generate it. And then we can proceed with generating our initial image as well. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to click on upload image. And I'm going to be uploading a previously created image that we have created. So this is going to be of a woman sitting. And I'm just going to be choosing something that is simple like this and I'm just uploading my image. This is just an image of a woman standing in a castle and then after that you're going to describe the scene that you want to imagine. And the woman is shocked by the punch and then you can turn on auto enhance or you can turn this off. If you turn this on then it will automatically try to optimize and improve upon your given prompt. Then below that you have your Hexfield model. So you will see several different models available. You have the Minimax, Haley, as well. And then you have Hicksfield Turbo, Hicksfield Standard, as well as Hicksfield Light. Now we're going to go with Hicksfield Standard. And then on the right side, we can choose the duration as well as the seed and the number of steps. Better quality takes more steps and costs more as well. Then you're just going to click on generate over here. And just like so, your video is going to be generated. So I'm going to close this out. And now my video is now in queue. And on the right side, you guys can see my input image. And then we also 
have the face punch effect that we selected. And just like so, our video is now in progress. First it was in queue, and now it's in progress. Now keep in mind that based upon the model you select, the time is going to be different. If you choose light, then it's going to be a lighter model. Obviously it's going to take less credits, but it's also going to cost you more time. And if you go with turbo, it has 2x speed, but it is going to cost you more. Now this is the video that Hicksfield has created for us. It was relatively quick and she gets punched and the character that it generated, it's very in sync with the overall vibe of the image with the overall initial image so it is something that is going to be really useful when you're trying to build these effects without defining them too much because again this character could have been just a, a random arm punching her but it would have looked really odd so it has actually created something very in line with our initial image so we have created some other content with this the model walks and turns into flowers and this was my initial image that i uploaded in hexfield and she is now holding flowers. Then we have this image. Again, we used the face punch effect, but we did not add any prompt. So because I did not add any prompt, it actually did not include the face punch. And then I have this wine image or wine video was created and the glass shatters down like so as the wine is poured. Then we have a different variation where it turns into lightning and it has like a slightly different effect. So it just bursts up like so. And now we have this face punch video. Now Hexfield can be utilized in so many different and creative ways. You can access Hexfield Soul over here to build some more aesthetically pleasing and visually alleviating videos and you can add camera controls into pre-existing content as well. This is especially useful when you're trying to build ad content for social media and you have some pre-built images ready. And not only can you use your images but you can now build talking avatars. To build a talking avatar just click on create and then click on speak. Once you do that you can choose the image that you want so you can click on change and you can choose the style. Let's say I want this to be a selling style then I can select an an avatar or upload my own image that I want to speak. So I'm just going to click on select avatar and I'm going to be using let's say Eliana over here and then I can generate the speech or upload my own speech as well and then I can enter my prompt, the model, and then the quality and then I can proceed with my Hexfield video. Now Hexfield pricing starts at $9 for their basic plan and goes up to $249 for their creator plan. You can save upwards of 40% on their pro ultimate and creator plans when you're opting for annual billing. Now within the basic, you have 150 credits every month and two concurrent generation with access to character creation, video models such as the light standard and Halio 2.0, as well as image and video upscaling features. On the pro plan, which is their top choice at $29, you have 600 credits, three concurrent generations, character creation, a Hicksfield soul, and so much more. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video